All right, this morning, of course, lots of people getting ready to make the trek across our passes following the big Apple Cup game. Tough for two reasons. One, if you're a Coug, it's very mm. difficult this morning for you, I'm sure. But you'll get into that. We'll get into that later. The other reason, though, is the snow out there. Yeah, Fox 13, Brisa Mendez is tracking the conditions at Snoqualmie Pass. What are we seeing right now? John in China spoke to Washta, who recommends all drivers be prepared to drive in the snow conditions, especially this morning heading into Monday morning. For all those traveling back from their Thanksgiving holiday or the Apple Cup, do expect those challenging road conditions heading into the day. Earlier today, there were two patrols supervising incoming vehicles before hitting those snow covered roads. Chains are required for I 90, except for all wheel drive those that are required to have chains and don't install their into their tires will be fined up to $500. All travelers must be prepared with snow tires, slow down and obey the traction requirements. Washdot crews have been pre-treating the roads with de-icer before the storm, during the storm and will continue to work after the storm. There's about 30 snow plows that will be out between the summits and Aquami Pass all the way to Allensburg. The winter storm warning will remain in effect through Monday. Monday morning. Make sure you are prepared in case the roads do close. Carry food and have water in your vehicles in case of an emergency. Reporting live is Naquami Pass, Brisa Mendez, Fox 13 News, back to the studio.